Well, this counts for all the antelope in the world in terms of points. What do you think, Dave? Oh, yes. Now, it is a, a firm favorite of all of ours. He's looking quite hungry and on the stalk. So, of that, from that brief glimpse, who can tell me which leopard this is? Uh, if you can, remember, hashtag Safari Live uh, on Twitter or questions at wildearth.tv. Which leopard is this? Isn't this exciting? Now, I know... Taylor and Jamie are going to be incredibly jealous. Uh, in jest last night, I told them that oh, the reason they couldn't find any leopards in the morning is because I wasn't on game drive. Now, of course, I didn't find this leopard, someone else did. And uh, as I was chatting to Dave, I said, I'd rather be lucky than good. And I'll, I'll, I'll stick with my luck. Oh, look at that, he is so beautiful. And it is a he, and I'm quite sure a few of you already know who this magnificent beast is. Now oh, he's hungry and he's on the hunt. And now uh, he's one leopard. He's one leopard that I will, if I hear he's around, I will raise to. Uh, as, as a male leopard, he's one of the few male leopards who actually does stuff during the daytime hours where it's hot. Now we're going to try to keep with him. Yes, Crystal. Yes, Ayazana. You are spot on. It is indeed Mr. Q. Quarantine. Male leopard. Okay. We're going to try to sneak ahead of him. Now, I don't want to drive directly behind him. He is hunting, so I don't want to... I don't want to draw attention to him now, so I'm going to stay a little bit away from him and I'm going to keep checking uh, to see if there's any potential prey. He is heading north. We're not too far from our northern boundary. Oh, look at that light. As he, look at that. He is just the epitome of grace and power. What mammal species is that? Number five, Dave? Is it five or six? I'm not sure. Oh, oh we're on five, uh, and the young gun, Taylor, is on six. Now, wouldn't it be nice if we got our sixth species, our, our joint species, uh, as it was hanging alive from quarantine's mouth? Stranger things have happened. Watch it out there, Dave. Okay, now he's moving through some relatively thick area. We're going to keep with him. Um, there we go. There's a gap. I've no. We're going to get a nice view of him shortly. Now the nice thing about young male leopards is they like to climb trees, they like to be quite active, even though the temperature is heating up already. Oh yes, go that way. We want him to stay inside Cheetah Plains. We don't want him to go visit in Koro again like the last time. Now there's a big termite mound coming up and we know how Mr. Q loves a termite mound, so I'm just going to try to get to the termite mound with some zigging and zagging between the combretums. Look at, oh, he's on the move to that termite mound again. We're just, watch out, Dev. No problem, Dev. Oh, he looks like he's ignoring the termite mound. That's very un Mr. Q. He must be hungry. Oh, curious one says he is so big for a young male. I mean, for a leopard of his size or his age, he is massive. So much so that he's putting pressure on his half brother, Shivambalan. And I haven't seen Shivambalan for 
an age, but Mr. Q has seemed to have taken over this territory already. Now, the interesting thing is we, we have to wonder whether the females will actually put up with him to mate with him because he is young, so sometimes the females will just ignore young males, even though they might be dominant. And sometimes males become dominant at a young age for a couple of different reasons. There could be a vacuum. Oh, he's scent marking. Um, so there could be a vacuum. Uh, so Kunyuma happened to fill a vacuum because the dominant male leopard down on Rondolozi was killed by lions. So Shavambalan managed to, I mean not Shavambalan, Kunyuma managed to fill a territory there. But the, from what I've heard from the guides down there, that the, the girls are still not impressed with him. Okay. Uh, we're really, fingers crossed, he catches something because we are, as I said, heading north towards the Nkoro boundary. But he is heading sort of slightly more quickly. It looks like he's scrub herring again. So we, we've seen him kill a scrub hare recently by stopping and sniffing in those thorn bushes. And I thought he might have spotted another one, but he hasn't. Magnificent on the move. Remember, this is 100% live. And if you've got any questions about this magnificent male leopard, hashtag safari live or questions at wildearth.tv.